Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're doing a Talk About It Tuesday and we're gonna talk about like spooky stories, spooky stuff that's happened to us along our lives and I hope y'all like, subscribe, comment if y'all are new here. Welcome. Um, yes, welcome uh, to all my other uh, subscribers. Thank you so much. Yeah. Love you guys. We hit 500 and I was so excited. Guys, y'all have no idea. <laughs> Um, share, like, comment. I would love to get more subscribers. I really do appreciate all of y'all. Yes. Um, and I hope y'all enjoy our videos. Um, we really try to keep it kind of up and going and different stuff. But um, definitely stay tuned. Again, we're going to be saying some spooky stories Ooh. that's happened to us. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll stay see you in a minute. We just figured, well, let's talk about something different. So... Figured we talk about ghosts. Spooky. <laughs> First of all, do you believe in them? I do believe in them. In ghosts? Yeah, because I've seen them. I've seen a couple of different ones, honestly. Um, I don't think Robert does believe in them. I don't. I know there's something out there. Um, I don't know if you would necessarily say a ghost, but I know there's something out there. I don't see them. Um, I don't think they really bother me or anything, but. I know there's something out there and something after, you know, your life is over. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes some people don't pass over to whatever's beyond, whatever you consider is out there, heaven or whatever. Um, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of different uh, situations I've been in. Um, it was kind of, now it's funny. Back in the day, you know, we talk about it, it was like scary or when it happened, it was scary. But now, I mean, I can turn around and laugh about it or whatever, but. Uh, there was one situation at my mom's house. I just had Xavier. And a matter of fact, Xavier, mm. uh, my mom was going to take care of Xavier one day. So I had run in there and dropped off the baby. Came back to the car, got the driver bag, went back in, telling my mom, hey, this is how you feed him, this whatever. I had everything in the diaper bag, blah, blah, blah. So I'm staring, looking at my mom, talking about this. And the whole time she's like in a glaze staring at me just glazed over eyes glazed over like uh, like in awe and um i couldn't tell why like i was like are you listening to me is it registering like i'm about to leave my baby like are you <laughs> paying attention and the whole time i could feel my hair being lifted up in the back like pulled up like this so my dad was always the jokester. For those of y'all who know my dad, he was kind of a jokester and always trying to play around and stuff like that. So the whole time I'm like, dad, stop, dad, stop. Like pulling my hair down. Like I didn't see my dad behind me. I didn't look behind me. I was busy telling my mom, I need, I need you to do this and this for the baby, blah, 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 whatever. The whole time y'all, she's just staring at me. Just staring at me. She was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> And so I'm pushing my hair down and finally I turn around and I'm like, stop playing. And I turn around and look and my dad's in the living room, like two, three rooms down. Like I could see the living room because it was the hallway, then the um, living room. And he's like, what? I'm over here. And I'm like, something was pulling my hair. And then all of a sudden my mom like snapped back and she's like, something was pulling your hair up. I'm like, I know. And I thought it was dad and this and that. Like we were like, what the heck is going on? But yeah, guys, I mean, that's just one situation that... Tell them about your parents' old house in the fireplace, guy. Mm. I didn't see it. I mean, I wasn't even alive at that time. Mm -hmm. But my parents lived in a little duplex in Oak Cliff. <laughs> and it was just like a duplex. Like It had a small living room, small kitchen, small bedroom, and it was like a restroom. But it was just like a line. When it was my dad got back from work and he was tired, laid down on the couch and um, he's just watching TV or whatever. All of a sudden he sees this black form of a man, but just all black. He looked like he like dipped down into the, into the living room, like he was coming in from outside. He had to like bend down to get in the doorway, walked across and saw my dad and I think he was staring at my dad and my dad's like cussing him out like what the hell get out of here this night and he's cussing him out this night all of a sudden 
he just dashes in to my the rest of the house or whatever and so at one point it disappears whatever he's gone the the man the dark man and um and my dad went searching for him whatever obviously he he was gone but at, when he, they kept seeing him around like the fireplace and stuff like that and my mom kept saying something's in there something's in there like why is this man around the fireplace all the time and they always say, if you're around, if you see something around a certain place, it's because something's there. Something's, it's, I don't know, it could be. And I think they're trying to get your help. Right. Sometimes they're trying to get your help to, I guess, to settle what they got to settle here so they can move on. Yeah. So finally, um, they decided, oh, let's check the fireplace. My mom never used a the fireplace. They never turned it on, nothing like that. But finally, they decided to look inside, get down and, and look inside the fireplace. And they found a metal box. They found a box in there. And um, they opened it up and everything. There were a bunch of pictures from, I guess it was this man, because it was a tall man, his family, stuff like that. And um, they just saw all that stuff, you know. And I don't know, I, I want to say, I think my mom said that they buried it in the backyard. And after that, they didn't see the man anymore. So I don't know, maybe he was looking for those pictures. I, I don't know. Maybe he just needed closure. Maybe I don't just know. knowing somebody found them so they don't get burned. You know, mm -hmm. Knowing, okay, they're somewhere, you know, safe. So. Not true. And that's what I said. I think some people just want that closure before they can move on to whatever's after this life. So yeah, guys, I do believe. I've seen them. I've felt them pulling my hair. I mean... I think it's just, it's, it's weird how there's an afterlife. Yeah. You know, you never know. I mean, right. you don't know how it's going to be. But I do feel it's it's them looking for closure or maybe you can help them out somehow. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> next story, guys. Um, like I said, I've never actually seen any, but I have heard them. Um, growing up in Oak Cliff, um, I, I grew up in a house with four other siblings and my parents. So... Seven people in a house. It was always loud. It was always busy. There was always somebody there. But sometimes <clears throat> um, everybody would leave. You know, my brothers and sisters would go out and my parents would go out. And so sometimes um, I would just be home by myself. And um, let's just say, for example, I know for sure I'm by myself. We had wood floors throughout the whole house. And I'm in the bathroom. And, you know, there's always a crack on the bottom of the, of the door. And you, you would just hear, like, footsteps you know, in the hall, and I'm like, okay, no one's here, but I can hear somebody walking in the hallway. And then sometimes I would actually see a shadow, like in the hallway. And I'm like, okay, I know dang well, I'm here by myself, ain't nobody here. So I get out, I look, and there's nothing. I'm like, okay, that's weird, but I got kind of got used to it. I'm like, okay, whatever, it's the ghost or whatever, all right. And then <clears throat> sometimes, you know, we'd be in the living room, and the way my mother's house was, it's the living room, the dining room, and then the kitchen. So there was kind of like a wall kind of separating the kitchen from the living room. And you'll be in the living room and uh, watch the TV and let's say a plastic cup like this, you would hear it like fall from a counter. It fall, hit the floor, and then kind of hit the floor a few more times, like it's you know, starting to, to settle. And then you go in the kitchen and nothing there. I mean, there's, there's, you know, Dishes are in the rack. There's nothing on the floor. There's nothing in the sink. And I think we even heard a glass break at one yes, point. Yes, yes. We heard a glass break, too. Mm -hmm. and, and it you, was just us, too. Yeah. And we were probably... We were in high school, guys. Probably skipping school or something. But <laughs> 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 Sorry, mom and all. <laughs> but we were honestly probably there during the day, and nobody was home. Um, we were probably in his room or something like that. And then <laughs> breaking glass. No, we heard breaking glass in the kitchen. Um we come running out like who's here? What happened? Guys, no broken glass anywhere. And we didn't have any indoor cats or nothing. So I'm like, it's not like a cat got out there and knocked something down. So But glass, I mean we literally right. heard it shatter. Yeah, like shatter. Like, it just shattered. Mm -hmm. Like you could hear it shatter. So when we came, I expected to see like a bunch of glass or maybe the cat or I don't, I don't know, you know, so when I was walking around in the kitchen, I'm like, I don't see no broken glass. Like, did you hear it? And we're questioning each other. Like, did you hear it? Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. You know, like, 
So we're kind of like freaked out, like what the heck? Like there was a broken glass around here and there was nothing, guys. We checked the whole house, no broken glass nothing. anymore. So that's just, you know, a weird story that. Yeah. And even now to this day, I still go to my mom's house and I would still hear noises like that. I, I have seen stuff, I think, at your mom's you? house. Yeah. It's a little bit weird. But I have I wasn't the only one. I think somebody else told me, and I want to say maybe it was your brother. I don't know. But um, I want to say I was coming out of the restroom one day, and there's like a long hallway. There's one bedroom, two bedroom, and the third bedroom. Well, where you come out of the restroom, you're right in front of one of the bedrooms. And so I was coming out of the restroom, and that door was open. I don't even think anybody was living there at the, in that room at that time. Well, anyways, the door was open. Lights off, everything. Just the hallway light was on. I'm done in the restroom, whatever. I walked out of the restroom and I saw kind of a shadow on the ground. And it almost looked like, guys, it was like crawling around, like on the floor, like slithering on the floor, like away from me or into the room. And I kind of like, look, like, is that, is that really what I saw? Like, <laughs> And I was like, mm, let me walk away. <laughs> Went to the living room with everybody else or whatever. But, and I want to say somebody else said that they saw that exact same thing in that room. Um, it was, I mean, it just looked like a, like a man crawling on the ground or like sitting on the ground, you know. Um, but it was like a dark figure. I couldn't see everything. It just looked like a dark figure on the ground. But again, I, I think I was backed up with my story because somebody else said it too, that they saw something in there. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, what about our house? Ex Tell them about our house. Or? Our house in Cedar Hill. Mm -hmm. So guys, when we first got married, we bought a house in Cedar Hill, Texas. And we we're so happy, so excited. You know, this and that. We had our own house. And so um, it was a four bedroom, two bath. And we didn't have kids at the time. So yeah, guys, we just had moved in. And we're excited about the house and stuff like that. And move forward a little bit. We've moved in. I had kids and Robert worked a lot of nights working overnight or whatever, making money. Probably the pool hall. I don't even know. Stripping. <laughs> oh, I see. I was stripping. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't be making no money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, so he worked nights sometimes. Um, and I was home with the kids and, um, there were some nights that I could just see, like, I would, the kids would come sleep with me in my room. And the way my room was kind of set up, like, it was my room and then, like, a little area and then the door. So, you don't, you wouldn't just walk into the room. There was, like, a little area and then the bedroom. Well, anyways, um, the bed was there and I couldn't sleep. I was just, like, you know, laying down, my eyes open and closing, this and that. I just, I just felt uneasy. And so I've always kept like a machete under my bed, just in case, because I was by myself with the kids a lot. So um, I ended up keeping a machete and under my bed and just, just to feel safe. And um, one point I opened my eyes. So say for instance, the door is right here. I'm over here asleep. I saw somebody put their head in and look at me and then go back. Like behind the wall, this is the wall. And then all of a sudden kind of look again and then go back. So I was thinking, is that me? Is it my mind? Like, I mean, is my mind playing trips, trips, tricks on me or what's going on? I couldn't tell. Anyways, I was like, okay. Finally, I decided I'm getting up. I'm going to go search because my babies were in the, in the bed with me. And I started looking around, started walking around, nothing, 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 I didn't see nothing. And I was like, what the heck? I know I saw somebody kind of poke their head in at, at me and then go back behind the wall. And I was like, something's here. Like, I searched the house, I searched into the beds, I called Robert, like, I don't feel good, I don't feel right, somebody's here, like, all kinds of stuff. And then um, he searched the house, nothing, nothing. And so I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't know, I just felt like I was going crazy. That was one night that happened. So, whatever or whoever that was ended up getting a nickname 
at that point <laughs> because because they, her and you know other people would start seeing it, especially in the hallway, and mm -hmm. uh, ended up giving it a name Hala. Mm -hmm. And I think some people gave it the name to kind of ease the tension of being so nervous about it. So they would you know come in and say, "Hey Hala, how you doing, Hala? You know, mm -hmm. bye Hala. You know, just kind of Jessica, if you remember, you're watching this. That yeah. was that was Hala. Yeah, <laughs> but. My, my sister-in-law seen him too. Um, I saw him walking from the long hallway into one of the bedrooms, which was Yaya's bedroom. And matter of fact, yeah, I knew Yaya was in her crib at that time. And so when I was walking, and I was in my room and I was walking to my restroom, you could glance down the hallway. So I would glance down the hallway just to see. All of a sudden, I see a man, a figure, go into Yaya's room. And I was like, what the fuck? I grabbed my machete. I walked in there. And guys, this is early in the morning. I want to say probably like 7. I was probably up getting ready for work. Or I don't know. I was just up. And so I walk in there. Nothing. Nothing. And um, I always felt a little bit uneasy being there. I mean, it didn't scare me, guys. I just felt like somebody's there. Yeah. Just somebody's there. It didn't scare me. I didn't, I didn't feel scared. Um, I didn't. At that point, I, I, I feared because I felt like somebody was in there. But after I started figuring out, it's got to be some kind of spirit or something because yeah. we never did see him. We, you know, physically, <laughs> like, you didn't see him. And um, so he didn't scare me. Yeah. Um, there was one point that I, I saw him. I saw his face. I saw his, his body. He's kind of clear, see-through-ish. But I could tell, was, I say I could tell he was a white guy. Maybe looked like a teenager, maybe eighteen, and it looked like he was wearing like literally like a white t-shirt and jeans. I mean, that's how I saw him. But clear, I could see behind. I could see the wall behind yeah. him. And my so daughter seen him too. Yeah, my daughter did see him too. You, yeah. can, you can explain that. <laughs> so one day she was. I don't even know where she was, but I had both kids, and um, they, you know they had to be little two and four or five, something like that. And open the door, and I'm carrying, you know, the bags and everything. And my daughter walks in first, and our entryway was probably about 10, 12 feet long. And then you get into the living room, and then to the left was this hallway we're talking about. And then the hallway, when you look down to the left, was her bedroom directly into the hallway. That's the room that she's talking about. And uh, her door was, I think it was closed at that point. So I open the door, and I'm there with the bags, and... My son's helping me, and of course, my daughter runs in, runs through the entryway, stops, kind of looks around, looks left, turns around at me and says, Dad, there's a man in here. I'm like, what the hell? So get out. So, she, you know, I, they run out, and I put them in the, in the, in the car, and um, I lock the car, and um, I, like I said before, you know, I'm a concealed carrier, so, you know, I bust out my my uh, <laughs> my nine and uh go in and search the house and you know make sure no one's in there and meanwhile while this is happening he says call your mom and locks the kids in the car xavier's on the phone with me mom dad has a gun there's a man in the house <laughs> i was like what the you know like <laughs> what and so i'm freaking out the kids are freaking out they saw dad running around with a the gun they saw you know so it was just Weird, crazy situation. Yeah, um, but I mean, I had I had an idea. It might have been the spirit because uh, it seemed like the activity kind of went up a little bit because she was seeing it, my sister mm -hmm. seen it, and and we were actually talking about it like the night before. So I kind of had an idea, but I'm like, well, just to be safe, I'm going to secure the house and make sure everything's okay. You know, um, there's no sense in calling the cops if there's really no, nothing there, no broken windows, no nothing. So then um, I searched it and everything's clear, everything's fine. So. So when I when she got home, I explained, you know, like, hey, there's nobody here. I think it was a ghost. And, of course, she tells me that the kids are freaking out, you know, in the car and, you know, calling her and all that. But, it, you know, it's funny now. But, yeah. and tell them how yeah, yeah, I explained it. What did she say? A black shadow or black man or black, sh how did she say it? No, he's, he's a dark man or he's a. There you go. She said, he's a dark man, but I could kind of see through him. Mm -hmm. And that's what I kind of got an idea. Like, it's probably the ghost, but. So I'm just gonna our, make sure. our hallway, when you look down, that wall was like a dark mauve color. Yes. So it was dark, you know. Yeah. So, and then her her door and all that was like a beige. Mm -hmm. The trim was beige, so 
And the way she explained it was like, Mom, when I looked down the hallway, I saw a man. And he kind of looked like, he didn't know which, <laughs> he way, didn't know to which go way to go. Left or right. <laughs> yeah, because one way was Xavier's room, the other way was my room, and then right behind him was Yaya's room. And so, um, he kind of looked, she said, Mom, he did like this, like, and he didn't know which way to go, like going this way or going that way. And then all of a sudden he was gone. And I said, well, what does he look like? She goes, like a dark man. And the only thing I, I could I could put into my mind is that the wall behind her is like a dark mauve color. Right. So him being see-through, I think that dark color behind him made him look dark to right. her. Right. So it's funny the way she explained it because it was kind of the way I saw it, you know, I, the way I see it, you know, or used to see it. But it was just weird coming from a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she was four or five, maybe? Yeah, maybe she was, four. Yeah. yeah she was so it was just four. weird the way she explained it. And and the way she explained it was like, that's kind of how I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my sister-in-law lived with us for a little bit. And um, at one point, that hallway, we're talking about that long hallway, in our living room, we watch TV. And so she said, all of a sudden, she said, on the side of my eyes, down that hallway, she's like, I could see somebody standing there. She said, I kept seeing it. I kept seeing it on the side of my eyes. It's not. And um, she said she, she would see him there all the time yeah. in, that, in that hallway. And so it's 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 weird that we all saw it. Yaya saw it. My sister-in-law saw it. I saw it. Robert never saw it. Not, not, I'm the only one. I guess yeah. they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but Robert never saw it. I think even my dog seen it because um, that hallway, you know, my son's bedroom, and then next to him was another spare bedroom. Well, after my sister-in-law, my sister moved out, um, I actually made that room into a little side business room, and um, I had a boxer, you know, back then, a dog, and um, I had a desk, and the boxer would just lay in, in, underneath the desk on a pillow. Very quiet, very mellow dog. Um, never barked, ne nothing, real calm. And I'm, I was up till two, three in the morning sometimes, you know, just working and everybody's asleep and I'm there working and my dog would stay there with me and when I'm ready to go to bed, she'd go to bed with me and all that. And, and uh, I'm working and all of a sudden she'd get up and I'm like, okay, you ready to go to bed or what? And she kind of looked at the door and kind of started growling. And I'm like, okay. And she really started growling, not barking, but she was really, really growling. <clears throat> so I opened the door and then, you know, you could tell she was getting really, really angry. And she's never done that before. And we're just staring in the hallway towards, you know, the, the main hallway that she's talking about. And probably five seconds later, she stopped and laid right down. So, I do feel like animals do see things yeah, or yeah, do I feel so. things. Um, because I always, she was always biased. Like, she tried to protect us, I yeah. felt like. Like, she would always be by the kids and stuff like yeah. that. So I feel like she was like their protector. Not that I felt like that spirit was going to do anything or, or anything like that. Because he never really did. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like, because I would even ask the neighbor, like, does it, you know, were their kids here or teenagers here and stuff like that? And the neighbor would be like, no, one was there, but he moved out with his mom, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, yeah. but never to the point that. Something happened to a kid there, you know, and, and to me, he looked like a teenager, yeah. you know, and like I said, I wasn't ever afraid of him or anything yeah. like that. And in case anyone's wondering, yes, we did have the house blessed when we yeah. first moved in. We're kind of like, we're, yeah, we're yeah. not good Catholic, but we try to be. <laughs> yeah, we had the house blessed, you know, we put holy water throughout all the rooms and everything and all that. So, um, yeah, we did that and we mm -hmm. still, or they still, you know, seen mm -hmm. whatever they seen. still there. Yeah, for some reason, I just, I never see anything. Um, I just almost felt like he's trying to get our attention for something. Yeah. I do believe, like, I do believe in spirits. I do believe there's something else out there. Um, just because I've seen it. Yeah. I've, I've felt it. I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Um, uh, I was asleep and kind of woke up half, a, half awake. And it was pitch black. I, I grew up in just all the lights off pitch black. And back then we had VCRs. And, um... I heard somebody kind of talking. They're like, you know, rewind it, rewind it, right? Okay, play, play, play. Fast forward, fast forward. And I would hear the buttons, you know, you know, rewind and you press the button, you hear it stop and 
And back then, you know, it was VCR tapes, you know, so you would hear it clink and it start playing and clink, you know, it would stop and everything. And, and by the time I fully woke up, I seen the light of the VCR just turn off. So I'm like, okay, I must have really heard it because I just seen this light turn off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm like, that's not a coincidence. It was just kind of weird. So I've never actually seen anything, but I've heard them. And of course, I felt some like, if I'm asleep and I can feel something kind of like walking on the on the bed, like, you know, you can feel the pressure of something like pressing down on the mattress. And by the time I wake up, it kind of just stops. I felt that before too, but it, again, I've never seen anything actually like they have. It's because he's so evil, guys. Y'all have no idea. The so evil much, spirits don't want to so mess much, with him. You got so much goodness <laughs> here, just... Goodness. You know, <laughs> they just don't want to mess with it. Yeah. I don't know about that, babe. <laughs> it's goodness, trust me. <laughs> evil self. <laughs> Because he's evil, I told y'all. He's evil, y'all. Or just someone's don't know. just protecting me from bad things. <laughs> Whatever. You know, from evil. Ah! You know, I'm being protected. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we got plenty more stories, guys. Um, and that's not even including like our family and friends that have told us stories. Yeah. I mean, we can go on and on and on about stories, but that's just a few of them, you know. But. Just wanted to bring you along to our lives and just tell you some spooky stuff that's happened to us in the past. Yeah. And maybe y'all can tell us some stories. Oh, yeah. Comment down below. Let yeah. us know. And if you want us to do a part two, let us know. Yeah. Like I said, we got plenty of stories. Yeah, we do. Plenty. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Definitely. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you liked our spooky stories, make sure you like it. Um, if you have a spooky story, make sure you put it in the comment. I would yeah. really like to hear it or yeah. see it or read it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that would be fun. But guys, all right, we're going to go ahead and a and we hope to see y'all on the next one. And see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.